Hello and welcome to this class. So today's tutorial is going to be about Procreate. So I get a lot of questions on my Instagram asking me like, how do I edit my watercolor artwork? So the truth is I use Photoshop, Adobe Photoshop for all my editing, especially to remove background and stuff like that. But I understand that getting Photoshop is very expensive and not everybody can do that. And I know that not everybody has an iPad or a Procreate with them, but I thought why not try to show how to do it in Procreate. It's very simple. It's not just using eraser tool, but we are going to use the selection tool as well. And I picked up this butterfly illustration I did a while ago, and maybe we'll try to use that and uh, show you how to edit it like remove your background in Procreate. So let's just get started. So I have this butterfly thing, which I scanned using my scanner at really high DPI. I think it is about 600 DPI or something. The key is to make sure that you scan it with really high, like with the highest quality possible so that um, you get the highest quality print out as well. You know, there's this term in data science called as uh, on data analytics called as garbage in garbage out, which means that if you don't, if you provide shitty things in the beginning, you're going to get shitty things in the end. So it's basically like that. So if you start off with an image that is like really low in quality, you're going to end up with an image with a really low in quality. So let's just start off with that. Okay. So I have opened my photos on my iPad and I'm going to click on share and select procreate and it sends to Procreate. So let's just wait for that because the file is probably huge. I'm just going to go ahead and open up Procreate now and it's going to say importing and it opens up like this in a different file, which is perfect. Okay, to start off, now we have to go ahead and select this and try to clean up and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do is you can actually, if you feel that the artwork is a bit dull or something, you can always go into this magic wand and then in here you can do color balance if you click on this and in here you can arrange these colors um to you know to make sure that it matches everything or you can also go into curves which is really good by the way and then you can adjust these things so that you know you have an idea of how you want and stuff like that and if you want to edit it like click here and click on reset and it goes back to whatever you want and then there's also something called as recolor and hue and saturation and brightness. So usually in here, if I'm using Procreate for these things, when I feel lazy to use Photoshop, I always come here and try to increase the brightness of my artwork if I want and to make sure that it looks nice and bright and whatever. And also saturation so that it's more colorful and stuff like that. And then I just go ahead and click on the magic wand again and then it kind of goes away. Okay, to start off, first of all, we have to make sure that we are in the layer which where there's the artwork. And then we'll go ahead and click on the selection tool. And in here, there are options called as free hand, automatic and stuff like that. And we're going to click on automatic because we want things to be selected automatically. So I'm just going to go ahead and select this white range here and as you can see when i click here i can see this threshold which is at 44.9 percent i can leave it like this and i can use this to either increase or decrease so that you know it goes and select things which i wanted to select so now it's selecting exactly everything but you can see that there are a few areas here which is still selecting that's because it's completely light in color so even if i increase this it's going to go all up ahead and maybe decrease 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 and then it's not changing anymore so i have to kind of stop at this point and once i have that what i can do is i can click on invert so now the selection is the opposite. So it's not selecting the white areas right now, but it's selecting the non-white areas right now. And now after I do that, I can just use my three finger to do this and I can say copy and paste. So now if I go back, I'm just going to uncheck this and then you can see that you have a new layer with a different set of things for you. But as you can see, these things have gone, but that's because if you look at this, the original, it was already very light. So this is why I say that you need to edit your artwork in a way that there are no whites as such. But that's fine. You have to work with it, I guess. And then, okay, let me uncheck that and check this again. But what you can do is you can go back and click on new layer and go behind this layer like this. And let's select this layer and make sure you select brush, which is like a little similar to what you are you know used to i don't know maybe it's wet acrylic you just have to experiment with this a bit so oops i have to click and select the color and you can try to 
draw in you know like this so i have used something very similar to watercolor so i'm just going to do that and also you can go ahead and do it so that this kind of fills in like this and it looks like it is watercolor Okay, a butterfly looks better. So coming back, let's concentrate on this butterfly right here. So one thing you could do is now you can see all these straight things. If you have those things there, you can go to your eraser tool and just erase it off. Wait, let me just reduce this and make sure I'm on the right layer, which is really important. And I'm going to just reduce this up like this. I mean, erase this because I don't want that. Okay. And now if you want, you can go ahead and uncheck this background so that you can clearly see what's happening here. Like if there are any strokes or something like that, for example, you can see that these things, you need to get rid of them as well. Okay, that looks good. And now I want to go ahead and pick my butterfly because that's what I'm aiming at, this one right here. So I'll go ahead and click on my selection tool, but now I'll go and click on the free hand because I don't want it to automatically select stuff. So I'll just go ahead and roughly draw an outline around this particular butterfly. So now I'll go ahead and click on the selection tool here and use three fingers to scroll down and say, you can either say cut and paste, it's up to you. I'll just do cut and paste. And now you can see it's on a completely different layer. So you can undo all these things and it's perfectly sitting here. So nice and crisp and stuff like that. And now you can actually export it as a PNG. A PNG is something which does not have a background. Now, if you want to make this into a pattern or something like that, you can always go ahead and do this and duplicate. And it's going to create one more on top of it and click on the selection tool here and move this around like this and maybe do this or something like that and you can make a pattern out of it by placing it again you know let me do this you try and do that yeah so you can make sure you arrange them nicely you can also move it into a different artwork by click on this and then you know you can always use the swap and say copy and then you can go to a gallery and then click on new file and select whatever size you want. It's totally up to you. A6300 for example. And then I'm going to click and say paste. And it's going to paste it here and you can resize or do whatever you want with that. So basically this is how you kind of make sure or get rid of the background for a watercolor illustration when you don't have Photoshop as such. And uh, you could do the same thing with the others as well. And like I told you with this one, let's go ahead and check that. And this was the layer. I'm going to go ahead and bring it down so that it's right below the layer. And as you can see, it wasn't really good because there was a white background. We couldn't feel it or we couldn't see it. So I'm going to go back to my brush tool here and try to find something which is, I don't know, probably similar. Or maybe this fresco works or there's also watercolor. Let's try watercolor and uh, let's try this. But like I told you, this is really experimental. You have to figure out like what your, oops, I think this, this might be better because it gives that uh, fresco kind of effect and it probably matches as well. And then you can draw it like this. Okay. Oops, I drew it on the main layer. When you go back here, so let's go to that layer and try to paint in a little bit with this new tool that we brush that we have. Please be careful while painting this. I'm just doing it so that I can just show it to you guys like what are the options you have and stuff like that. Okay, so that seems perfectly fine. So this is basically how you can clean your watercolor artwork in Procreate. And um, yeah, this might not be as detailed and as perfect as Photoshop, but it definitely gets your job done. 
And like I told you, once you're done with everything, you can just uncheck what you don't want and export it as a PNG. And uh, you should be good to apply it on products and stuff like that. So I hope you like this tutorial. And uh, if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. I'll try to create more Procreate videos in future as well. That's it for today. And uh, thank you for watching. And I think I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.